in Wales you either grow up playing rugby, football or you fight and um, for the guys who fight you know I think um, they see me fighting and it's almost as if I'm representing not just myself but the town and, and Wales and I think that's why everyone gets behind me because they want, they want me to do, my, do well for myself but they want me to do the town and the country proud as well and I, I think winning and losing means just as much to my supporters as it does to me. It's Wales versus the world, it, you know, it doesn't matter who I fight, whether they're from England, uh, whether they're from Europe, America, Russia, the Welsh will always support me the way they do because we get behind their own. You know, as a young kid watching Joe Calzaghe fight every, every couple of months is is something a mass, massive, something that stays with me and um, I always remember as a kid growing up and, and being a kid that was into fighting, you know, seeing him dominate people on the world stage, you know, the best in the world, Roy Jones Jr., Bernard Hopkins, Michael Kessler, is, is something I'll never forget. This will definitely be the biggest ovation for me that you'll ever you've ever seen, and again another big show in Wales. The last show was the biggest event to ever happen in Wales. This one's going to top it again. So, you know, as long as, long as I'm fighting for Cage Warriors and they come into the Ice Arena, these shows are just going to get bigger and bigger. And um, I think December 8th, biggest show in Cage Warriors history. Pro Welshman is the main event. It's, it's only going to mean one thing, and that's uh, that's an electric atmosphere. This is an iconic event. Uh, Cage Warriors got such a big name now, you know, the, the number one promotion in Europe. So for, for me to be the main event of that, and that show to be in Wales, not even just being the main event, but for the biggest show ever to be in Wales and, and me to be main event is, um, is something I'll always look back on. You know, I'm going to be winning my first world title. And like I said, when, when I decide to angle the gloves up in many years' time, this will be the, the first major milestone and, and something that I'll never forget. And I'm sure something that my supporters will never forget as well. I don't feel that I personally need the belt around my waist to prove it to myself, but to prove it to everyone else, obviously I, I need that, that title. Um, to be legitimised as the number one in your weight in Europe, you've you got to have the Cage Warriors belt and you know, it doesn't matter what I think, I've, I've got to make sure that, that that's on everyone else's mind as well. And when I fight and beat Mike Ekendeo on the 8th, you know, beat another undefeated guy, highly ranked, uh, comes from a great gym, so by beating him I think that truly solidifies my spot as, as number one. I'm not taking Mike lightly at all. You know, seven and uh, a big win in his last fight in Cage Warriors uh, against Said Arthur, who's former world champion himself. So, you know, he comes from a very legit gym, trains with some great guys, good coaches, but he's had legit wins as well. You know, he hasn't fought fought any you know journeymen, so to speak. He, he's fought tough guys in his last few fights. So I'm 100% focused on the task at hand. I know. I know what he brings to the table and I gotta go in there and make sure that I can I can bring what I bring and, and get our victory. If you're Welsh and you're a sports fan and you know, especially a fighting fan, you, you know, you'll be a fool to miss this night. It's, it's the biggest card in Cage Wars history. It's history in the making and once you come to one I promise that uh, you'll be at every show they ever do in, in Cardiff, that's a fact. Mike, best of luck with the rest of your training camp. Look forward to seeing you in there on the night. We're putting a great show for the fans, but I'm coming out on top and there's no other way this is gonna end. See you on the eighth.